Paganism, a word that to most describes devil worshippers and goths. Throughout history, they have been ostracized, hunted, and burnt for their beliefs. But do people who practice a different belief system deserve this stigma? Before we can answer that, we have to answer this question. What is a pagan? Paganism is an overall term, it's an umbrella term, like um, Christianity would be an overall term for Catholicism and Christianity and, you know, any of the traditional paths that follow a monotheistic, Christ-centered faith. Um, so we're all pagans in that we all tend to follow a polytheistic, earth-centered traditional faith. Um, Jennifer Vaughn is a traditional pagan and organizer of the Denton Pagan Meetup Group. A place well, where her and other like-minded people come, come to celebrate their festivals, so perform rituals, and just to be together. But in the pagan religion, like-minded does not necessarily mean that they all follow the same path. Um, I am a generalized eclectic pagan. I take from here, I take from there, I take from everywhere. So as, as far as my path goes, I'm very, like I said, very eclectic. Um, I've always been a seer. I mean, forever. I mean, even as a small child, I had visions, premonitions. Um, I mostly follow uh, Celtic traditions and the, the Celtic gods and goddesses. I am a Christian witch. Wait, what? I am a Christian witch. Oh, you heard her right. Risa Woodard is not a part of the Denton Pagan group. Modern day Wicca. She is in a coven of Christian witches. But how is that possible? Well, it's, um, a lot of people think that is a total dichotomy, that they're so opposite and they can't mesh together. But it depends on how loosely you translate Christian. Um, I was brought up as a Christian, so I believe in God and Jesus. I've always had that in my heart, and I can never really give up the thought of Jesus because that's always been a part of me. But I found myself yearning for something a little bit more than just going to church, um, reading the Bible. And what she stumbled upon was Wicca, another path under that umbrella of paganism. Luckily, she was able to find something that went with her way of life. What Wiccans believe is that the god and the goddess aren't necessarily two separate entities but they are more of a part of one entity, just the masculine and feminine embodied in duality and balance. That seems to be one of the draws of paganism. There's always something to relate to, which is probably why her coven is so varied. I come from all walks of life, and, and it's, it's interesting because if you would say, picture a coven, what would you expect to see? And people would say, maybe old women with long gray hair or, kind of the goth look, but it's really a bunch of average, normal people, um, and it's, it's a mixed crowd. Individuals can always find something to identify with. Quill identifies with the Greek god Eros because he is the patron deity of homosexuality. Omega represents his warrior-like personality with Maha, an aspect of the triple goddess, the Morrigan. But how do other people relate to them? As people think that pagans worship the devil because the Christian church has told them that, so uh, a lot of people are afraid. They think that a lot of pagans sit around and, and do voodoo and do spells to hurt people. Um, here in Denton, mostly I've just run into people who are afraid of learning anything different, but they don't, they don't really want to have to challenge their beliefs. They One person to close it. to Serena who won't yeah. is her mother. She's in pretty deep denial about it and uh, therefore doesn't sleep well. Period. She just tries not to sleep. Luckily, there are other people in her life who are accepting and even benefit from her lifestyle. One of my co-workers is Catholic, so I would work the Catholic holidays for her so I could be off on my holidays. So it worked out nicely. Did she ever say anything? Like, say Catholic she had some trouble at first, but she got over it. <laughs> One person in Jennifer's life who benefits a lot is her son, Alexander. Who are you? Two. No. <laughs> he goes to all the celebrations and learns about paganism through children's books. This is the for you. Mm -hmm. The favorite direction. Yeah. What direction? He's three and a half years old, so it's understandable that you can only hold his attention for so long. 
but it's implausible to think that paganism is all they're about. These are normal people with families, jobs, and interests. Omega is a music producer. Quill is a massage therapist and an aspiring magician. Serena works for the government, and Jennifer once worked for a few Fortune 500 companies, but is now a student getting her master's in counseling psychology. And Risa? She's a fourth grade teacher with a few interesting hobbies of her own. You ain't gotta be Mensa, just your own brand of mental. Who let the dogs out? I did. To hunt down the sheep and tear them to pieces, shear off their fur, to line the beds that we sleep in, and dream of the day when motherfuckers won't front, then we'll gladly be happy to give up the hunt. So. <laughs> she also has an interesting assortment of pets. It's a rare opportunity to see a critter like this as a kid in person and get to handle it and whatnot. The only female, I have six of them, five males and one poor little female. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even though her lizards scare me, there's no reason she or any of them should scare you. They may use crystals, read palms, and cast spells to send out energy, but this is just how they find balance. And being in a religion that does not convert, but welcomes all who are interested, shows that there are worse places to do that. For NTTV, this is Chanel Pierre.